Chef Ellie here again. I'm gonna make a very fast, easy dish for you called salmon casserole. All we're gonna do is start with a cold pan. So you can use your electric skillet, your 11 inch deep, even your small two quart if you'd like. And then you're gonna start off with some spinach on the bottom. So just dump your spinach in, and then you're gonna take and you're gonna place some tomatoes over it. And we already pre-sliced the tomatoes, so I just come and layer them all around. Now, if you want other veggies in here, go right ahead. I am gonna be dumping frozen veggies over the top. So I'm just throwing these tomatoes. So this is all we have so far. Now, when I buy salmon, I'm gonna buy wild caught. You know, that's very important. And Walmart has this bag. It's a big bag for $9. It has about seven of them in there. Good deal. And they're skinless as well. So I'm just gonna take, and these are frozen by the way. So we'll just take, and I'm gonna grab a knife really quick. And throw them right in here. We're just cooking for two today, so let's just throw the salmon right on there. Now you can um, load this up, and it doesn't have to be frozen salmon. It can be fresh salmon, frozen salmon. Just remember, with Salad Master, we can do frozen to finish, meaning we can start with a completely frozen item without having to thaw it out. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take green basil pesto. You can make your own, or you can buy it in the store. It's right there on the same aisle as all of your pasta sauces. So I just take and I'm gonna stir it a little bit and then I'm gonna dump the um, basil pesto right over the top of the salmon, just like this. And then I'm gonna sprinkle some around the piece. And then I'm gonna take a bag of whatever frozen veggie you want, anything at all. This one's a broccoli, cauliflower, and carrot mix. And I'm just gonna dump it over the top. Now you can take your um, basil pesto and add a little bit more to the top if you want. Just do like a little drizzle here and there, it's your choice. You don't have to do frozen veggies either, you can do fresh. Mix it up, throw anything you want in here. Now all we're gonna do is place our lid on top. Now keep in mind because let's say we have broccoli or cauliflower and it makes this vapo valve stick up a little bit. Can you guys see it sticking up a little bit? You can't hear the clicking if it's sticking up. So all I would do is I would just move until it's flat. That way it'll make a seal and it can click. And then all I'm gonna do is plug it in. I'm gonna set it on medium, which is 350. When it clicks, I will turn it to low, which is 190, and it'll be ready in just 35 minutes. Enjoy. Beautiful salmon casserole. Now I did already take it out of the piece, so <laughs> forgot to record before they were eating it, but there we go, yummy food.